Here's a small project which consists of the free sample video that came with Windows and some background music that I've added. Let's see how this plays. <laughs> There's too much conflict there between the two audio sources. So here on the project tab, there's an audio mix option. Let's have a look at that. And here the slider is right in the middle. That means no priority is given to the audio on the video clip or to the background music. But if I move this slider all the way to the left, that will give total preference to the video music. Let's play that. Now we can't hear the background music. I'll change this so that I give total preference to the background music and play this. Now we can only hear the background music. So we can use the audio mix to adjust how much priority we give to one audio source or the other. I'm going to open another project where maybe we'll see a use for this. I've got the same background video with its associated music, but I've added a narration over the top of this. Let's see how this sounds. Hello, my name's Phil from GR8 Productions. Here's a free sample video. OK, we, we can hear both audios there. If I go to the audio mix button, you'll see that I've got the slider quite a long way over to the right so that it gives preference to the narration. I'm just going to slide it a little bit more. Go back to the beginning and play this. Hello, my name's Phil from GR8 Productions. Here's a free sample video that came with Windows. And as you Yes, we can certainly hear the narration now and the music on the video is barely audible. But can you see now how useful this could be? Actually having some background music playing when you've got a narration can actually make it a little more pleasant to listen to. There's one more audio option here on the project tab so I'm going to switch to another project. I've added photos, the free samples that came with Windows, and now I'm going to add some background music. Notice at the moment that this slideshow lasts for 56 seconds. I've got to add some music. Now generally we've been going back to the Home tab so that we can find our Add Music option. I'm going to switch back to the Project tab. And if you remember the lesson on the Quick Access Toolbar, I've added the options up here to look at the groups. So I don't have to go back to the Home tab to do this. So there is certainly a use for that Quick Access Toolbar. I'm going to add some music. I'll add this one. Now if I hold my mouse over this background track, it lasts for 1 minute and 22 seconds. Well, the photo slideshow only lasts 56 seconds, so the end of the music track is chopped off to fit. But perhaps I want to hear the whole music track, because it might really finish on a, a nice piece, and I don't want to chop that off. So if I look at these images, go to the Video Tools Edit tab, I notice that the duration of each photo is 7 seconds. Well, I'm going to go back to the Project tab, and I'm going to 
use this option here, Fit Photos to Music. And this will automatically adjust the duration of photos, so the movie and the music end at the same time. So I'll get the whole of my music track. And now you notice the photo slideshow lasts 1 minute and 22 seconds. And if I click on one of these images, go back to the Video Tools Edit tab, see now the duration of each image is 10.25 seconds. I think if the duration had been changed to something like 30 seconds, that would be far too long. But when the slideshow and the background music are very close in length, that's a super option to just tidy things up.